Hey Sephora family, I'm Jalen, skincare advisor at Sephora Venetian in the fabulous Las Vegas. Tonight we're doing my get ready for bed skincare routine. I have normal to combination skin naturally, but since I just moved to Vegas, my skin has been so dry. If you wanna see how I keep my skin hydrated while also keeping my pores clean, keep watching. I like to start my makeup removal process with my eyes. To remove my eye makeup, I use the Lancome by Facile Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. I love to use this makeup remover because it's so gentle and extremely effective. I place it onto a cotton round and sit the round onto each eye for about 10 seconds. This helps the eye makeup to begin to dissolve. What's great about this product as well is that it doesn't require a lot of aggressive rubbing or scraping, which I really, really like because I like to be gentle around my eyes. I also had laser eye surgery not too long ago, and I find that this is one of the only eye makeup removers that doesn't cause any irritation. It's pretty much a staple product for me at this point. Next, to remove all of the makeup from my face, I use another Lancome product, the Lancome by Facile Face by Face Micellar Water Face Makeup Remover and Cleanser. Similar to the Lancome Eye Makeup Remover, this face cleanser is extremely gentle. Taking your makeup off at nighttime can sometimes be depressing, so I like that this product actually makes my face look even better, I feel like. I don't feel a lot of residue or there's not a lot of makeup smeared all over my face. My face just looks really nice and clean. And if I didn't have time to do another cleanse, I would feel comfortable walking outside like this because there's really no residue left on my face. So for my second cleanse, which is known as the double cleanse, I'm using my favorite all-time cleanser. It's the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This cleanser is so refreshing and really balances the skin. What I really like about it is that it also removes eye makeup. I hate waking up the next morning with leftover eye makeup. So because this is gentle enough to use on the eyes, it's the perfect next step to make sure everything is removed. I start by focusing on the face and gently working the cleanser into somewhat of a foam. Then I'll take a little bit more cleanser and actually apply it directly to my eyes. You can see there's still a lot of eye makeup left. So could you imagine if I hadn't done a double cleanse, that would all be on my pillow and my cheeks tomorrow morning. I also cleanse my neck because I do get a lot of breakouts in that area, not really sure why, but I apply all my skincare products to both my face and my neck. Now I'm just gonna rinse my face clean with a damp washcloth at home, you can obviously just use your sink. I like using a washcloth at home sometimes too. It kind of makes you feel like you're still in a spa. If you are going to use the washcloth, don't forget to be gentle. Your face is very delicate, especially the eye area, and a lot of the movements and pressure that we do on a daily basis can actually cause early aging. So you just wanna be mindful of the pressure that you're using. I use a dry washcloth to gently pat my face dry and then because I had on a pretty dramatic eye look, you can still see there's still makeup left. With a cotton swab, I gently remove the last bit of eye makeup that's lingering on my lower lash line. Now that the cleansing process is complete, it's time to exfoliate. I'm exfoliating with the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. Exfoliation has made such a huge difference in my skin. Because I'm experiencing combination but also dryness on my skin, I want to make sure I don't cause extra dryness, redness, or irritation. And because this exfoliant is so fine, it does the job of cleaning my pores without causing any irritation. I adore this exfoliant because not only does it declog my pores quickly and effectively, it doesn't strip my skin. This exfoliant is really fine, so it's very smooth and gentle and has a nice tingling feeling, which I like. You'll want to apply this product to slightly dampen skin and you'll gently work it around all the areas where the pores are clogged. I like to pay special attention to my nose and the lower half of my face because that's where I experience the most breakouts. Once you've applied it all over and you start to feel that tingling feeling, I would recommend leaving it on for about two minutes and then you can gently rinse it off. 
For my toner, I'm using the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This mist is so great as both a setting spray and a toner because it provides a nice balance of hydration. I like to use a hydrating toner, that way I can ensure my moisturizer locks down and gives me long lasting hydration. The serum I'm using today is the Ula Henriksen Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. It eliminates texture, improves skin tone, fills fine lines, and even battles breakouts. I find it's the only product that works to treat my hormonal acne, and it also works really effectively as a spot acne treatment. Because I'm doing a full skincare routine, I'm going to apply the serum all over my entire face because I wanna retexture everything and look absolutely flawless when I wake up tomorrow morning. I have a tiny pimple on my chin and a little bit of texture on the lower jawline. So to combat that, I'm gonna use a little bit more serum, don't judge me, and I'm gonna target it on that specific area. I also have a tiny scar from a previous breakout on my neck, and I've been using this serum for a couple weeks now, and it's really made a difference in the visibility of the scar. You'll want to leave this serum on. It's recommended to do two minutes. While I wait for the serum to sink in, I'm gonna take care of these dry lips. You guys, my lips have been so dry this summer. The only thing that's helped has been the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. This lip balm is so great for super, super dry lips. It is colorless, it is odorless, it does all you need it to do, which is moisturized, dry, chapped lips. And finally, it's time for everyone's favorite part of the evening, which is the moisturizer. I have been loving the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Moisturizer because it's so creamy and rich. It really moisturizes my skin, but it doesn't make me feel greasy or slippery at all. It's infused with rose petals and roses are natural hydrators. And I just love the way it feels. It's so luxurious. I really take my time to make sure all the areas of my face are hydrated and I make sure I'm moving my hands in a generally upward motion so that I'm not contributing to any early aging and I'm keeping my skin nice, tight, and hydrated. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you thought it was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you wanna follow me on my social media handle, mine is at Jalen underscore November. Thanks, bye.